Okay, so when we're talking about this power line switch and load, those are the only three, th four things that can go wrong with a circuit. No matter how complex, every, every circuit in HVAC equipment has power line switch and load. So think about this. Here's our fan motor right here, and that fan motor is running. Our switch is closed or made right here. So this fan motor is running. It's got all four of the components it needs to run, and it's operating properly. If this switch is open or it burns out, the fan motor stops running. If this wire breaks, the fan motor stops running. If the power stops being applied, the fan motor stops running. And if the fan motor burns out, the fan motor stops running. So there's four only four things that can go wrong with a circuit. It doesn't have the power it needs. The, the line or the wires are broken or corroded. The switch is either not closed or burned out or the load is has failed. So that's it. So now you have to just figure out what uh, what part of the circuit is what based on the schematic diagram. And then it's a matter of checking power, the line, the switches, and the load. OK, series circuits. Let's talk about that a little bit. We'll, we'll let, and we're going to talk about the, line, the power line switch and load. So in a schematic diagram, L1 and L2 refer to incoming power. And this happens to be 208 volts. So let's look at this. So L1 and L2, that's our power. Here is our line. And here's, and we're going to learn about these switches here in just a bit. But these are switches that are made. So that one's made. That one's made. This one's made. So we have our switches and then we have a load and we have our electric motor will be running based on the schematic diagram. Now in a series circuit, if any of the switches open up, that switch opens or that switch opens or this switch opens, the electric motor stops. So in our HVAC equipment, the switches are all in series are all in a line and there's a lot of times they are safeties and overload protection that if there's a high pressure situation it'll stop the motor a low pressure situation stops the motor and then some controls over here and all of those controls for an individual load are wired in series which means any one of those that opens or breaks stops that load from from running I just move on here. Here's here is another series circuit. And these are very simple series circuit, but again, line, power, switch, and load. Now parallel circuits. Remember I said that all in in the series circuits we'll have the line and we'll have some switches and then there'll be one load. In HVAC equipment, all of the loads need to be connected to the power, to the line and the power coming in in parallel. That means they're, on, they're like rungs of a ladder. This is a very simple, this is a very simple diagram. The reason that, the, first of all, that they're connected in parallel is that if this light bulb burns out, it doesn't stop the fan motor or the compressor or the heater from running. If this fan motor burns out, it doesn't stop the other components from running. The other reason is, is if these are all in series, um, they start to, all of them start to draw more voltage and current. And you get down to the end, they all end up trying to split the power between the four of them. So all of the loads have to be in parallel, like the rungs of a ladder. Now the schematic diagrams, Sometimes ladder diagrams will show it in this, in this configuration. Other times they don't, but you just need to know if, if it's a load, it is always in parallel to another load, and the loads usually do not affect each other as far as operation goes.